It's a beautiful day. How are you guys? I'm back at work and I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful and to those of you who are still unsure whether you still have your jobs, what is happening, I pray that God touches you. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed the last week's session. So yeah, you've enjoyed and you've learned as to how to move on life must not stay in one stand we mustn't stand still life needs to carry on life, life needs to go on my problem is you ask you are hurting right you are sleeping taking medication depression medication you crying day in and day out and the person you are crying over <laughs> they are living their lives <laughs> they are eating pap they are eating a goosey they are eating all kind of meal you can think of and there you are crying there you are frustrated there you are even skipping work because this person has left or this person is 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 is, is uh, i don't know you've got issues no man no man they are not worth it mm -mm. look at you Look how beautiful. Look at you. Just go now to the mirror and, and wipe, wipe those tears. They are my men, my brothers who are going through this. Please go wipe the tears. Dress up. Look good. I dressed up. I, I used to dress up. Like after that, I made sure that I go and, 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 and uh, what, what is the word? Altar. You know, when you, not altar, this word, what is the word? When you saw, like, uh, yeah, I don't know the words. You guys who know better English. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that way, that when you, when they make your clothes fit, when when they, it's that word, man. But anyway, it's okay. It's part of life. We forget. <laughs> yeah. So I went and they fixed my clothes. I made sure that they fit me nicely so that people don't see the, the skinny me. They start see, like I made sure that I changed my hairstyle. Do you know, there's this guy, this Tonga guy who, who makes jokes. He, he, he normally like, he, he would say that, why is it that you ladies, when you leave or when we leave you or when you leave us, you glow more than before. I mean, confuse the enemy. Confuse the enemy. You need to look more beautiful. The way they left you, they must not find you. You need to improve yourself. If it, if it means going to school, back to school, for more education, to further yourself, you, to be a better person, do that. Do that. So that they, they also... <laughs> to explain this guys but you know what I mean you know what I mean you should improve yourself that's the only way for revenge not to go cry go sleep forget yourself forget who you are you must do better for yourself do something new you know just just live your life take it as a second chance take it as a second chance I took it as a second chance and I'm enjoying this second chance. I'm enjoying this. I'm loving this. It feels like I, I, I was not a youth before. This is now the time that I've, I've become a youth, a young person. Somebody who understands themselves. Somebody who embraces themselves with their flaws. Appreciate themselves, you know? I'm at that level that comes storm, come rain. But I know that 
who is righteous make sure that embrace yourself love yourself pick yourself up pick yourself up you know be in competition with yourself not another person do good and be like righteous tomorrow you have your own challenge i love this this challenges that we are doing now the 2010 2020 20 2009 2019 challenge you look at yourself 10 years back and how you look now you know and you see the grace of god okay i will post that picture you see me 20 years ago been a church girl man you can see the outfit i looked so good like a church girl i've been in this gospel forever and uh, my was i supposed to allow marriage to take me away from from god no 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 as a matter of fact from that i'm now a better person it has it, it has drawn me even more to scriptures i know even more i know better than i was then anyway we you must rise 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 and move forward rise and move forward don't be like that man in the scripture who was staying there in the well who was crippled for 40 years 40 years he couldn't help himself he for 40 years i mean 40 years like there was nothing that you could do he 40 years staying begging for money you can't stay there you can't stay in an in a disadvantaged area or place for so long it's not going to be somebody else's fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. You have control over yourself. You don't have control over me, but you have control over you. Nobody has control over me. I mean, my parents didn't have control. It was it was in me to make sure that I rise again. Right? Okay. I don't want to take this long, but I, I believe that this rise, I just want those who are heads, man. I know it's painful. But don't stay there please don't stay there don't mourn forever you are wasting your time to be a better person yeah no don't don't mm -mm, nobody is worth rejection hurts yes but the only time that you can sleep 24 7 it's when god rejects you there i give you 100 percent go ahead go sleep leave your job leave everything be admitted do whatever but if it's a human being no 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 please rise rise in the name of jesus rise up take the mats and go 40 years is a long time for you to be staying there and begging making and wanting people to feel sorry for you some are there acting like they are for you while they are against you they want to laugh at you against your back so please come on Take your mats and go. Take your mats and go. Christ is here. He has visited you. Take your mats. Go. Go. Healing has come. Go. Continue with your life. Be a better person. Be a better person. Be a better person. Allow God to fix you. Allow God to fix you. And do. You are not doing good for anybody, for them, to hurt them. Make sure, please get me right. Get me right. It's not for anybody. It's not. They are there. They are your past. They remain there. Where? In the past. There is this saying that uh, say this. It says, when you look at uh, when in the car, do you see that the windscreen is big, and the rear mirror, the rear mirror there, it's small small it's this size it's this size do you know what is the meaning of that the past does not matter anymore what matters is where we are going what matters is where you are going therefore you need to focus more on where you are going than who is behind you doesn't matter they they remain in your past they are your past let them be there they in your past let them be there in your past. Somebody asked me, like, what if he was to come back? Like, would you take him back? No. I wouldn't take him back. Am I angry at him? No. I'm not angry at him. Am I 
bitter. No, I'm not bitter. But he is my past. <laughs> he is my past. His purpose, his purpose is served. He was here for a season. Remember that there are some people who are not meant to, to continue the road with you. They were meant for a season, for a specific period. You need to accept men and let go. You need to accept and let go and move forward with your life. Most people, they are hanging on. You are hanging on, hoping that, mm, I'm praying that it comes back. I'm praying that it comes back. And God does not want you there anymore. God does not want you. God does not want him to come back. But you've been praying and praying. And, I mean, really, guys, guys, no. He doesn't have to come back. He doesn't have to come back. She doesn't have to come back. She doesn't. Her purpose is served in your life. Do you have kids together? Okay. It's fine. Do the parenting arrangements. Parent together. It's fine. No, no it's not an issue. I... I don't know if I'm wrong. You, you will correct me. Is it, would you rather live in a family where, where there are quarrels, people are, hit, there's domestic violence, people, husband and wife are hitting each other in front of the kids every day, every blessed day, every day for the sake of the same kids. Is that safe? Is that okay? Do you call that happiness? And you tell me that you are staying because of the kids or you want to go back in that very same hell you were in because of the sake of the kids ah guys mm -mm, I don't think so it's selfish reasons it's not for the kids hence we have kids today growing up abusive bully they, they learned it from home they see your parents fighting every day you are quarreling I mean, what kind of life is that? What kind of life is that? What are you teaching these kids? What are you teaching these kids? It's not fair. It's not fair. Not at all. It's not fair. It's not fair. We need to, to raise kids in a beautiful, warm home. I mean, I'm grateful I was raised in that warm home place i've never seen my parents shouting at each other as a matter of fact my mother is overprotective of my dad like if we want to say something maybe we, we would want to complain that my papa didn't do papa this papa that. She's, she's, she's got it she, she says it in a nice way i love the way she says it take on papa <laughs> and she's like take on papa like, leave my man that's how a mother should be. The reason most kids hate their fathers is because of what their mother says behind their behind the, the husband's back. The mothers instill or or the or, or, or the mother instills negativity to the children. Your father doesn't doesn't love me. Your father does this, your father did this, your father Everything is like this man is so wrong. God, mothers, you you are you are sowing hatred in the hearts of your children unintentionally. They start to look at this man. They start to look at their own dad as a monster. Pro be protective, man. Be protective. Some fathers does that. Call their children. Your mother did this. Your mother did that. Your mother. How then would you expect that unity, that unit, if when the mother is sitting with the kids, they're talking about the father, the father is sitting with the kids, they're talking about the mother. What kind of a family is, will that be? So, love yourself enough. Love yourself enough. Do not imprison yourself in things that do not serve you anymore. Don't get me wrong. Divorce is a sin. Divorce is not biblical. God hates divorce. God hates divorce. I 
didn't leave. I didn't leave. And I want to believe that if God wanted to save that marriage with my prayers, he would have saved that marriage. Hence I'm saying, even if he was to come back, I wouldn't take him back because his purpose was served in my life. He was not here for a lifetime. He was here to help me find myself. So guys, I pray we were to speak about the lesson learned. I just got all excited and I started something new, something exciting. This just, I didn't plan this. This content just came as I'm talking now. It just came. I had prepared the lessons, but this content just came. Hope you enjoy it. Is something I was talking to my friend. He says that uh, things that are not planned sometimes are exciting. And I want to agree with him because if you, every time, if you know that I'm going to say good morning, how are you? It gets to be boring. It gets to be, yeah, people get to lose interest. But if it, you, you, you're just spontaneous like that, you know, it's nice. Life is beautiful like that. That's how I am. I love, I, I just love exploring whatever comes. I'm, I'm a risk risk taker yeah i think i think i'm fearless mm. i'm fearless i fear nothing after everything that i've experienced in my life i don't think there's anything that can challenge me in that way that i'll, I'll shake and feel like I can't rise again yeah be, have that attitude that's <laughs> Thank you guys for being here with me. Let's, this whole lockdown thing, we've got lots, I've got lots of people that I'm gonna be hosting for you here. And I hope you enjoy having them here. And um, I hope this thing ends, man, so that um, we can have new faces, we can have new blood, we can have, yeah, but I know my blood is exciting. I know you love watching me. I can see thank you for your comments thank you for your for the likes thank you for the love thank you for reaching out to me I love you guys you are special not just to me to God you should know that never forget that don't don't sleep crying over a situation if it's a job that you have lost, rise up. Think of other ways to make money. I mean, there are a lot of things. Network business. Network business is the in, is the in thing these days. You know that? Network business is the in thing. People are doing the most out there. Don't focus on one. Don't focus on one. Um, what is a channel to to for for on financially? You need to have different streams to bring money. You need to have different, be smart, be smart, think, think outside of, outside the box, what can I do to make more money, I do that, think outside the box, I can't sit here and, and like, I can lose my job, you see now, this whole lockdown, recession, I, I don't know, there's a lot of things happening, so you need to work, look, check, check, check things, google things, take risk, take risk, and stop crying and feeling sorry for yourself. Please, please stop crying. Sleep, wake up, take your mats and go. Take your mats and go. Take your mats, do something. Take your mats. The, the future is bright. Ahead, there, the windscreen is big enough. It's beautiful, there's so many beautiful things ahead of you. Take your mats and walk. Take your mats and go. You are beautiful like a diamond in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, shine bright like a diamond. Oh, shine bright. You are beautiful like a diamond in the sky. Oh, shine bright. Two hearts. Oh, I wish I can dance. Beautiful like a diamond in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, shine bright like a diamond. Eh, oh, shine bright like a. You are beautiful like a diamond in the. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. Thank you for being.
being here with me. Hope you enjoyed the show, right? Please give me some love. Give me some love. As I'm giving you lots and lots of love. I love you guys. May the good Lord bless you. Stay happy. Stay cool. I mean, life is too short to have frowny faces every day. Take each day as it comes. Celebrate life. Life is beautiful. Be grateful. And love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, nobody will love you. If you don't look after yourself, nobody will look after you. If you don't look after your heart, nobody will give you what you don't have. Nobody, nobody, you are special and God loves you. The fix loves you too, man. Yes, did you love this? Did you enjoy this? Thank you. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please stay subscribe on your right. If it's still red, if it's that subscribe says red, you, you haven't subscribed yet. Click on it and click the bell. Then you are for me. I love you people. Thank you so much. May the good Lord bless you. I'm enjoying looking at myself, man. I'm enjoying looking at myself. Anyway, let me finish your data.